Hello, this is the uh, wise owl two coming at you from the see where I live. I want to teach you some. I have a new subject I would like to teach. Uh, so when you go to the market, you see uh, 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 products written in English and Spanish. You know, you see labels written in Spanish and English. And sometimes um, uh, you may confuse one uh, one thing to another. Uh, for example, let's take this one lesson here for today. Um, kale greens. Kale greens. You would think that. All this, the Spanish word here, hojas de col rizadas, means kale or kale greens. But little, if we take it literally, literally, we'll see that hojas means leaves and de means of. Leaves of. Now, the word for kale is col rizada, not hoja de col rizada. Col rizada is for kale. But here, because you have the word greens, you have here hojas, the leaves of. Now, because you have an S on the end of this word hojas, it's more than one leaf. So it's leaves. So if you, put, if you take your finger and you cover the S, it'll be leaf. It'll be singular. Leaf of kale. But it's more than one. It's plural, so it's leaves. Hojas, the col risada. Okay? Just to let you know. So next time you see, you know exactly what the word means, okay? Some people think that all this means the word kale. It doesn't. Col, col risada is for kale, okay? These are leaves of, okay? Remember that. And, and this is written in plural. Leaves is plural, not leaf. You have to cover the S. Oja will be leaf. Okay? Now you have a plural. Of, there means of, leaves of col risada, of kale. And here's the kale right there. Okay? This wise out to come at you from the sea where I live. Have a good day. Over and out. Bye-bye.